Hmm, what beer do I want to try next? Beer time, it's beer time with the beer man. Tastings didn't record, and it was on Boulevard Brewing Company's Rye on Rye. It's a six, Rye on Rye six, I believe, or something like that. But it was very whiskey tasting and very delicious. Got a five. Did not record. So now I've got another Boulevard Brewing Company one for you. I got Seaside Wine and Beer House in Seaside, Oregon, or it's called Wine and Beer House in Seaside, Oregon. And this is a Boulevard Bur Brewing Boulevard Brewing Company's. Um, <laughs> Nobel Prize Imperial Pilsner and it's a 7.5% ABV with 32 IBUs it is really sounding good to me <laughs> that other one last night was just amazing simply amazing alright let's open this up oh my Champagne. Woo! Holy moly. <laughs> this is something I have to clean up now, or the ants will get it. <laughs> Somebody shook the bottle. Wow. So I've got a bit of a you know, a mess to clean, but that's okay. We're starting at a two finger head. Let's go ahead and smell. Oh, it's got a nice, that nice bready. Uh, it's got a definitely a Pilsner smell, which contains somewhat of a sharp, uh, fresh bread like, um, maybe even some uh, biscuity kind of ness going on in here. Um, very crisp and clean, refreshing, almost has a citrus bite to it. It's real pointy in the nose, goes straight in. Whew. It's real uh, floral and uh, citrusy, I'm getting a lot of that. Let's go ahead and look at your <laughs> CO2 is just going, <sighs> you know, awesome. It's looking really good, really lovely. Yeah, it's got a little bit of like hazy, like looking yeastiness going on in there as well. But man, it's looking really good. Let's go ahead and taste her. Lifty on the tongue, fizzy. Shoots out this kind of wild, yeasty like sweetness to the palate. Horse blankety and just very lifts up this horse blankety kind of funkiness to the palate. But it's like this sweet, um, this, just this crazy sweet, uh, malty kind of citrus floral. Uh, somewhat sharp, bitter kind of uh, roughness to the palate and over the tongue. This is definitely stronger. Uh, it's not super alcoholic or anything. It's not very off-putting there. Um, a bit warming in the back of the throat. Very sharp on the tongue from carbonation. Somewhat uh, dry at the palate. 
but you're getting man I'm even getting some leather in there there's some leather kind of smells coming out or taste not smells with this real ripe light fruit I'm trying to figure out what fruit I'm tasting here oh very complex this beer is <laughs> almost has come a somewhat of a wheat um, a wheat beer kind of flavor um, like malt wise like wheat malt was probably perhaps used in this lacing on the glass is looking nice right on I had to bring that up has a bit of a a slight Okay, it goes on sweet, sharp, and then uh, kind of this weird horse blankety funkiness up to the palate, and sweet on the tongue with this weird kind of leathery, like uh, light fruity kind of ness going on. Um, perhaps dried fruit of uh, that of peach or uh, apricot or something going on there. And uh, more of a dried fruit though and some leather, throw that in together. Sweet, dried fruit, leather, dried apricot, leather. So it dries off about three quarters of a way down the tongue there. It spritz, it's kind of a, a spritzy, fizzy, um, sour, old, light fruit, leathery fruit, dried fruit kind of uh, texture and flavor coming out of the flavor, uh, uh, out of the taste in this. Um, but it's just, um, it resides quite thick like and um, kind of mucusy up in the in the in the palate as it comes around and gets towards your throat there it lets you taste it just long enough but that taste is kind of funky it's kind of weird it takes a it takes a real. <laughs> it takes a real man to understand this beer. <laughs> it just really takes a real good understanding of beer to really accept this because this is a very strange. This is very strange tasting. It's definitely got. Uh, Got some uh, some complex uh, things coming out, even with the leather. I mean, it. it but it honestly, uh, in the smell, it wasn't as uh, as much. And then you get the taste, and it just totally took off. Um, yeah, man, this is really good. Out of five hops, um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this uh, 3.75. 3.75 hops. Gassy, <laughs> but it's uh, not a bad beer. It's uh, palatable, and and I would totally have another one. Uh, you give me one, I'll drink it. You know, no problem. I might even go buy it again and try it. No problem. But uh, I definitely um, there was some things that kind of threw me off a bit. So 3.75 is a real good score for this, I believe. Um, really good job Boulevard you guys are killing it with these beers all right guys so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it um, this actually threw some melon flavors at me at the end so this is a very complex beer holy moly um, god you know Nobel Prize really won it bro um, this is a good one seven and a half percent loved it you guys are great thank you please comment and uh, let me know what you think. If you've had it before, please uh, let me know. We'll compare notes, whatever. Um, <laughs> or just, just uh, you know, come on by and say hey. <laughs> right on. You guys are awesome. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when I got new shows up. If you're new, check out my intro. Hit that bell also. Subscribe, this, that, you know what I mean? Um, and hit the like button right on you guys. Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. So have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this world. Yeah, man. Okay. Woo!
Cheers, I'm out. <laughs>